Anyway, people, what whiskey do you like? Let me know. I want to drink whatever you suggest. If you want to send me whiskey and I'll give you shout outs, any company, any bar, anyone. Doesn't have to be whiskey. Booze. Hit me up. Email below. Nice one. Awesome. Right, Jordan Anthony Rooney asked Hulk Hogan movie casting question mark. You said you didn't even know there's a Hulk Hogan film coming out. Not a fucking Scooby. Well, it, it's been cast as um, Mr. Mr. Four himself. Hemsworth. Yes. The good brother. The better. I won't say good. He's... Okay. Ragnarok. <laughs> the rest of them. No, he's alright, it's thighs. But it's been pretty shit and everything else, to be fair. Exactly. Um, anyway. So Hemsworth is, is playing Hulk Hogan. Yeah. He's not a bit big. No, he's, he's well small. I don't, I don't really remember Hogan being that Hulk Hogan big. Hogan I mean, he's a beast of a fucking massive. guy, but I don't remember him being, him being that tall. But obviously, I was only a kid. I'm surprised he's... Um, uh, he's gone from being a Disney film darling with Thor mm. to taking on a role... Of someone who's been caught being openly racist. If it's, it's a if, bad move for me. I won't on, be watching that film. I, I know say, that for a fact. It depends on which way they go. If it's a full biopic and they go fucking warts and all. It's a WWE tell, film. But, if it, but it depends on whether or not they show Hulk Hogan's story of him as a person or him as a persona in the ring. Which are two yeah. very different two very different stories to tell. True. And one's gonna fit right in with Hemsworth with the with the back catalogue he's got where it's gonna be a bit fucking tongue in cheek and, and not overly serious. Yeah, yeah, and the other one's gonna be a full dramatic role. Either way. So if they go if they go the if they go the latter out and they make it dramatic as fuck and they tell it all and they're super honest, then yeah, I fucking rate that as a casting. And I think if, he's got the chops to do it, I just don't think he's shown it yet. Well, uh, he'll have to do literally maybe all the steroids in the world. To get those pythons the right size, like all the steroids, and and I don't think he's got the chops to do that because he hasn't got Vince McMahon going do it or you're not getting paid. Yeah, but he's got Disney <laughs> or whoever. Well, he's, he's the studio, do we not? I think it's WWE. So it's just their own thing. I think so. Yeah, they're not going to tell about an old story. Not happening. Personally, I'm, I'm not going to go and watch it. I'm not. I wasn't a massive Hulk Hogan. I'll be dead honest. I don't, I don't know. know the story. So good. So what? 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 What was the story behind it? Because I don't know the story of, of him being a racist con. Like, that's, that's brand new information for me. I'm not super into wrestling. Well, he was caught on camera saying very, very bad words, should we say? About, there you go. Let, let the man talk. Basically, let's let's fact check the shit out of it. Hmm. Go on, Nick. So, basically. So, basically. <laughs> fact checker, Nick, please check. Fact please check the facts. Uh, come on, lads. Come on, He's basically caught saying the N word. Um, his defence was that was he knows a lot of. But was rap. he singing a rap song? <laughs> <laughs> is that one? Is, <laughs> is that one? He said it. Or was it just a conversation? Did he say it with an A or with a hard like E R at the end? It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter, does Don't it? Don't be saying that shit. It's not that hard. That but anyway, what, what, what's the difference with you, Adam? One's super racist. Is one okay? And one's other... just a little racist. <laughs> a little. <laughs> one's a little bit racist. Right, okay, no, come on. No, Let's move away on. from this stuff. No, seriously, like, so he was caught saying the N-word, which, yeah, not okay. His defence, basically, on it was, he knows, um, he's friends with a lot of black guys that say it. Right, okay, I'm, a, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of black guys that say that word. No, you're not. Couple. No. One. And I don't say it. Two. None. No. Fox isn't my friend. None of them are your friend. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, but I, I, we're, we're, in a, we're in a community that, yeah. that that word is thrown about quite a lot. Yeah, but I would never say it. No, obviously not. <laughs> I would never say it. Not in a fucking million years. So it feels weird. Yeah. The making a film about him because it's going to be the... 
the glory days Hulkamania if they're casting Helmsworth. They're not going to be showing him now like a 65-year-old man what's got man tits and bald as fuck mm. but still wearing a bandana trying to fake it. It's, it's going to be shit. But yeah, don't rate the casting. What about you? It, like I say, depending on which way they go with the story, which because it's a WWE thing, probably, probably not the way I want it to go. Mm. Nah, fuck off. Get in the bin. Facts. Anyway, okay, next one. Dave Gareth and Battle Rap Merch. Shout out Battle Rap Merch all day. Um, asked um, about Jordan Peele carving out a, a place as the new Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick, Kubrick. in the horror. Um, personally, I said, I've already said online, I think it's a bit early. He's got one horror film out at the moment, people yeah. calling that. But He's got one that was great, and everyone was shocked as fuck, because obviously... Like he's a comedy guy, not not the sort of person you think he's gonna come along and do, um, yeah, do a, do a horror film and do it so well. Especially but when you think about his start, like he started on like I think it was like Mad TV doing skits, and then he had that yeah, yeah, Peele show, Peel, which yeah. is another skit finger. He has done just, all the just bits of it. Like, yeah, he has done. He was in Predators and stuff like that. Uh, the new Predator, yeah. whatever that was called, piece of shit. I, I, I fuck off. I rate that film. But anyway, carry on. I rate parts of that film. I don't rate it all. Jordan Peele, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. Um, Us looks incredible. Creepy as fuck, but so interesting. Right, I'm, I, I suggest that we watch the, the latest trailer and then talk about it. Yeah. I think that's a good place to go from. Uh, you carry on talking while I find it, yeah? So, yeah, if you're not familiar with the Us uh, film that he's just making, it, 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 does look, it looks super weird. Like, really, really weird. I'm not a horror guy, as has been previously mentioned on numerous episodes. It's not my thing. But that's definitely a film that I could get on board with because it doesn't look like a straight-up horror. It, it no. looks like a very psychologically twisted kind of thriller in a very shot in a very weird way. It looks beautifully, yeah. beautifully shot. Well. It, it looks like he's... Like, with Get Out, he broke a lot of, a lot of film stereotypes yeah. within that film. And he's it, it looks like he's just going to be taking the piss and just... Jumping all over all the horror franchises yeah. and just and every time coming out with better and better it's stuff. It's got a very Japanese kind of vibe I get to that. it as well. Talking about that, um, four days ago, a, uh, an international trailer dropped for the film, so that's good. That's been um, definitely looking forward to watching this one. See, repeating the on just is everything. Brilliant. Everything. Yeah. Coincidences. I get what you mean, like the trailer yeah, itself. It, just, it looks very purposely shot and yeah. it does look like a lot of the J horror stuff. I rate, I rate the way he cuts a trailer as well, whether it's him or not, or if, he's, if he gets a trailer guy in to do it. Like, like I, I, I really like the way it's cut. It tells you enough about the story, but doesn't feel like it's giving too much away. Yeah, they don't feel like spot. If anything, you, at the end of the. In each of them, mm. you're just like, well, what the hell is going on in yeah. darkness? Oh no. Oh no. Is the is the dad the guy from Black Panther? Um Baku? Yeah. There's yeah. a family in the driveway. It's a bold move keeping the trailer so quiet as well. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Like, uh, yeah. It's a it's it, because everything's usually so flashy and purposeful. I think there's that, more that when the kid goes down and crawls off, he's just like. This, I'm just hoping that this they aren't the only creepy moments within this. I've got a massive feeling that they definitely isn't, but I hope they haven't shown too much. Yeah, I get this. It's going to, it feels like it's going to be filled with really creepy as fuck jump scares. That yeah. is just the character design is fucking stunning. I think it's going to leave a load of people really confused. Yeah, but I rate that. I love that. I hope it has a really horrible ending as well. Yeah, yeah, just super dark. <laughs> yeah, just everyone yeah. dead. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to see no shitty happy endings. No, you shouldn't be about it's that. It's not the that way sort of it looked at the bricks, didn't it? Wasn't it like uh, 
full of bodies or something that same beach or was it just like deserted dead you only went back there but they're just yeah. dead yeah you, you might have your ending it looks like you know i mean it looks like it doesn't just affect whatever happens it doesn't that, just affect that could family. very well be the end of the film if yeah. everything turns out all right and they go for a day out on the beach and everybody comes dead yeah for all we know that's just a dream sequence like yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you literally can't it tell it does feel that's like different to, to the way the rest of the film shot it feels quite bright and mm. happy and so yeah, it could very well be her at like a flashback or a dream. It's a very, very intelligently put together trailer. Yeah. Um, I can't, I cannot wait. And I think did it drop this week that like he's doing Candyman? Yeah, I don't know if it's a because I, I said to you is that like I've read the Candyman. Uh, it come out on Entertainment Fucking Weekly or something like that. Yeah. It, which I can't remember what what news site it was. Um, but you sent the link to us. And literally, I started reading. That was like Candyman. Yeah, I'm on board. Fine, whatever. Like it was a decent horror film for the for the time. I don't yeah. really remember. I watched it as a kid. Um, but then I, th- I literally got to the bit where it just said Jordan Peele's name, and I just went right. That's enough. That's all I need to know. I'll go and watch it. Yeah. And I, I get that. Know, I don't. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's just a producing role, or if he's an EP, yeah. or if he's a directing or, or writing or what. I don't don't know what he's actually doing. But... Is it, I think he's starting to get that the J J Abrams thing where it. His name's just going to start. Yeah, you can literally just dip in and out of projects pro- and just go out. Do that. Was, the people are going to start selling films just on him being a producer, which fair play, he's, he's got to get that money. But it could also end up denting his, denting his name. Like, I think Abrams is. It, it kind of had, yeah, because he's had a very up and Abrams has had a very up and down career, and even stuff yeah. like his passion projects when he brought out Super Eight, like that was a secret project. I fucking love that film. I love that film, but it didn't do well at all. Yeah. No. Critically, or at the box office, it just didn't seem to land particularly well. And that's what I'm watching. Yeah, it was. It was, and it, it was a secret like project, and then they just literally dropped a trailer and then brought the fucking film out. Yeah. Like yeah. literally within a couple of months, there was no advertisement done. All the money that was spent was spent on a film. Like you say, I fucking yeah. love it as a movie, but. Because his career has been a bit of a miss over the years, and because yeah. his name's been so diluted when he's because he's been attached to so much shit, mm. it it made the hype for that film less than it would have been if he'd have been a little bit more, a bit more reserved on what he got involved you know, in. To completely back up what you said, as soon as you said when he worked on Super Super Eight, my initial reaction was, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know what I mean? oh, yeah, yeah, that thing got, that he yeah. just did on his own." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hundreds yeah. of millions on, but, but yeah, it should be at the forefront of your mind. But I was like, fuck that, that film did it exist. Should, it was pretty good. And I it's not even like it was a shit film, so I forgot it. No, it Actually, wasn't. It's a really good I, movie. I, I, I genuinely rate it. He's got faults within it. But anyway, let's get back to John Peel. I am. Oh yeah, sorry. Worried that that might happen with him. Like his name might get attached to stuff just to help some. I feel film. like, like you've just said, it's early days, so it could go either way. I feel like he's a very not that JJ is not an intelligent guy, but Jordan Peele comes across as a very understated, intelligent bloke. So I think he'll make the right choices, and he is yeah. making. He does seem to be making the right choices. He's picking certain projects. He's not getting involved in big blockbuster horror films or anything like that, or like really big yeah. named horror films until he's not Candy taking Man's come out. Not Candyman's taking, yeah. not been attempted and redone three or four and five times where it's failed and yeah. then Jordan Peele's come along and gone, I'll save it. He's waited until the right time when it's come out, he's picked a project that he thinks, yeah, I can and do something with like that. It's a really smart pick for, all, of, for him as well uh, to, as a franchise. It's, it's not many, like Black Lead, Joe, that's, the yeah. Candyman's a black, a black lead, a, a solid black mm. lead yeah. character and there's not many of them about. What, I can't. In horror films, like horror, I can't in, think of another one. There is, a few, there is a few dotted like sparsely, but I mean, he, he carried a whole franchise. Yeah. And it's about time. I think it could be done properly, and I think he's the type of guy what can rewrite a whole genre, so it feels fresh enough. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like it's just treading over the same yeah. shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. What's next? I want to talk about the, the, the upcoming Spawn film. Okay. Um, it's Jamie Fox in the lead role. Mm. It's another black lead, but it's a comic book film. Yeah, so it's a um, black lead superhero film. But it sounds like it's completely different from any of the comic books you've ever read by Spawn. 
See, I've never read any of the Spawn comic yeah. books, so I can't. I don't. I don't know what to expect. All I, I've seen I is that. I didn't read any of the mainstream stuff. I just read the Undead stuff, and that was like noir shit. Yeah, like, yeah. It was just like fucking. It was like poetry, if anything. Well, yeah, but so well, it, it, by this, by all accounts, he's not the lead character. Yeah. Like in the in this, he's, he's going to be literally a fucking boogeyman. So he's not going to. You don't have to worry about all his backstory or like why he's that. why he's driven. He, it's just going to be he's a fucking. Bad dude. Yeah. Right. I like that because when you look at first season of The Punisher, you didn't get a, a, an awful lot in that first few episodes. You didn't get an awful lot of Frank Castle's backstory. You didn't really need it. You got it throughout the rest of the season. Yeah. yeah. So if they put, and like with the first Spider Man film, you didn't, Pete Parker was already Spider Man. They didn't need to show Uncle Ben MCU dying was. again. Yeah, they didn't yeah, need yeah. all that shit. Yeah. They'd just gone, everybody, did, we've seen it enough, everyone knows that. With yeah. a character like Spawn, I suppose you could just drop him straight into a film and go, he's a super fucking dark guy. Like, there's mm. there's no, yeah. you don't, it, shit's happened to him, you don't need to know it's what it is. Yeah. We're just going to let him fucking yeah. wreak havoc. I, 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 part of me thinks they're probably going to change his origin. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. He's got... One of the stronger origins. So what? So for those that, because I've only seen that piece of shit film that was out in like the nineties. Right. Uh, yeah. So so he was basically he worked for uh, he, not the CIA, but he was like Joe Black Ops. Right. So he was doing a lot of bad stuff for his government, killing a lot of people he shouldn't have been killing. Just, but just but being just being a bad 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 man. Just killing everyone. Ends up getting double crossed. Dies. Goes to hell. Mm-hmm. Begs for his life. And then he gets turned into Spawn, sent to Earth as the Spawn of Satan. Right. To what? To reap souls? To see, he's, to, he's, to, he's supposed to, to, he's supposed he's to, supposed to, to just kill bad people or he's really just to kill just, anyone? He's spawn, he, he, think about it, if he's a hell spawn, yeah. he's there just as a chaos. He, right. But I don't want to see it, because you haven't read a lot, I've got some Spawn comics yeah, no, for no, you. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you do them. If you can't probably, see on the camera, there is a shit ton of comics here. Loads that I've already said to Michael what to borrow, and we will do an episode in the future. Oh, well, yeah, we'll do, like, do a full spawn thing stuff yeah. like that. Like we'll go, we'll go deep into it. Get super deep so deep. if you've got any questions about spawn or anything we talk about, email them us. We'll get to them when we do a podcast about it. <laughs>